Hello I am Art Invader and welcome to my tutorial. Maybe you already know me. I am a digital artist from Berlin, Germany. I regularly post my art and short tutorials on my social media channels. Feel free to check them out. You can find the link in the caption. I want to turn my passion into a profession. Therefore it would be nice if you support me on Patreon. There you will find the project files to my YouTube tutorials. For a small financial surcharge, you also get access to my 3D models, which I use in my art. Thank you for your help. Today I show you how to create this cool chrome ball animation, in the first part of the video, I will explain you how to create the animation with Cinema 4D, in the bonus part of the video, I will show you how I edit my animation with Adobe After Effects, let's start Art Invaders. Select a sphere in the bar above. Select 100 cm for the radius and 50 cm for the segments. Then select the cloner in the top bar and place the sphere under it. At mode you select grid array. At count you enter a 3, so that we get a cube of spheres. Now we come to the actual effect, select metabol at the top of the bar and place the cloner under it. Under object select for whole value 250%. For editor subdivision and render subdivision 10 cm. Now we come to the animation, extend the animation to 5 seconds. Then select cloner and search for random. This tool will generate random coordinates for each sphere. Go to the parameter submenu. Move the animation slider to the beginning of the animation and select 200 cm under position X, Y and Z and press the circle symbol to set a keyframe. Moves the slider to frame 40 and enters 280 cm for X, minus 245 cm for Y and 200 cm for Z and sets a keyframe. Moves the slider to frame 110 and enters 450 cm for X. 228 centimeters for Y and 200 centimeters for Z and sets a keyframe. Moves the slider to the end of the animation and enters 500 centimeters for X, 500 centimeters for Y and minus 400 centimeters for Z and sets a keyframe. Then set a check mark at scale, so that different sizes of the spheres are generated. After that set a check mark at uniform scale and enter 0.53 as value at scale. Now select random and metabol and press with the right mouse button on it and select bake as alumbeak plus delete. Now the animation is calculated by the computer and can be edited with additional effects. Now we work with deformers to make the animation look more realistic. Select them displacement deformer in the top bar and place it under the alumbeak animation. Go to the sub item object and enter 100 cm for height. Go to the sub item shading and select noise for shader. Then press on the image. There you choose for noise VL noise and for global scale 3000%. So that the noise texture is animated. We enter 1 for animation speed. Under space we also select UV2D. Now we come to the material, double click to create a new material. We only need the reflectance channel. There you press the button remove and after that add and insert a new ward layer. Set roughness to 5% and specular string half to 50%. The first material is ready. You can drag it onto the animation. Now select sky in the top bar. So that we can see something, we have to create a new material. Drag it onto the sky. Here we only need the luminance channel. Under texture you can insert a picture of your choice. Then go to texture and select layer. Then press on the image. Here you can add more images. I add a HDRI map and set the blending mode to overlay. At Patreon you can find the complete project file, I link you the account in the caption. In addition we animate the sky to get more light effects on the spheres. Select the sky and go to the menu item coordinates. Set a keyframe at rotation H by pressing on the point. 
Then move the animation slider to the end of the animation. Enter 360 degrees and press the point again. To make the animation run in the same speed all the time we have to set the animation to linear at the end. For this we go to the top bar to window and select timeline, F curve. Now we select all starting points of the curve and press the linear button at the top of the bar. Now we come to the render settings. Press the button with the cog wheel on the top of the bar. Under render or select physical. Choose a suitable format and select frame range all frames. So that we don't see the sky during rendering, we have to set the following three check marks under save. To get the file with a transparent background later, we have to save it as PNG file. The option is available when the animation is finished rendering. That's it, the animation is ready to render. In the next part of the video I will show you how I edit the animation with Adobe After Effects. By double clicking in the project window you can paste the finished PNG sequence into Adobe After Effects. It can happen that the graphic is displayed darker than it actually is, this is caused by the gamma value. To fix this problem, search for color and gamma conversion in the effects window, under gamma conversion select linear to sRGB. Then look for the effect hue slash saturation. Under master saturation select the value 30. Then duplicate the layer and set the blending mode to multiply. Press the T key and set the opacity to 10%. Then select the lowest layer and search for the effect diffuse glow. At glow mix you can mix the new value with the original one. There I select 21. After that we add a background. For this we press in the flat window with the right mouse button and go to new and select solid. After that we search for the effect gradient ramp. There I select the colors black and red. Then we switch to radial ramp. So that no disturbances arise in the gradient. We additionally look for the effect noise and enter 7% there. Now I work with overlays. First I put in a destroy overlay and set the blending mode to lighten. At the end I add some font elements. Now we make a prefect loop out of the animation. For this we press command plus A in the plane window and then we click with the right mouse button and choose pre-compose. Then we press the right mouse button in the preview window and select composition settings. There we increase the animation duration. Then we duplicate our composition. There we press with the right mouse button on it, go to time and select time reverse layer. Now the composition runs backwards and can be moved to the end of the animation. The animation is ready, well done Arties, thanks for the positive feedback. When I have 10,000 followers I will get a camera and a mic. At the moment I don't earn any money with this yet, therefore I am happy about every support. To make sure you don't miss a new tutorial from me, please subscribe to the channel. I try to upload 1-2 to two tutorials per week. See you in the next tutorial.